Adding EXIF information to your images is extremely important because it not only identifies you as the owner and the creator of the image, but you can also help to optimize your images for being found by search engines on the internet and also if you're uploading your images to websites like Pickfair. So we're going to take a look at how to edit the EXIF information and apply copyright information to your images in both Lightroom and Photoshop. So here I have an image that's already processed and I'm just going to click onto the library tab because that's where we can edit our EXIF information. And the most important two panels that we need to expand is keywording and metadata. So by default, this is what you can see in the metadata. And there are a number of options here that you can choose, but it gets a bit cumbersome. So the best thing to do is to click on this customize button here. And then we can just scroll down. We don't need to worry about a lot of these things, but the things that I think are most important are to check the copyright status, rights usage terms, and copyright info URL. And then if we just scroll down a bit more, we can add all of this information, but you know, maybe just adding your phone, email, website, that's gonna work perfectly because that's adding all of your information without identifying exactly where you live, which you may not want to do. And then as you'll see here, all of those new sections have now been added to the image. So let's just type some things in here. So if you've got a copyright info URL that may be on your website, so you could add your website here. So I'm going to type in my website and I'm just going to copy and paste that down into the website section as well. I'm going to add my email address and we can add telephone number here and if you need to add a caption we can put that there so i'm not going to type everything in because it just takes time this is just to show you how you can add that information the next thing we can do is add some keywords and we have a section here where any keywords that have been added to images previously are picked up by lightroom so we can just left mouse click on these and you'll see there that they're added automatically so some keywords can be added really quickly but we can add them manually as well just add a comma after each one and aim for about 10 you don't want to add too many because it's not going to work and then if you have several images that were taken at the same location you can sync the settings in the same way that you would sync the settings in processing so that's a really quick and simple way to add the EXIF data in Lightroom. Now, if you want to add a copyright symbol on a PC, you hold down Alt and then type 0169 and that adds the copyright symbol there. If you're on a Mac, you just hold down Option and G. So let's take a look at how to edit the EXIF information in Photoshop. And you'll see here that I've opened up the exact same image. And to access the EXIF information, you can either hold down Control or Command, Shift, Alt and I, and that is the shortcut to open up the image info. Or you can go to File, File Info, and this brings up all of the information in the boxes. So, here we can change things like the copyright status from unknown to copyrighted. We can add our document title. So let's call this dry coastal mud. And here I've just copied and pasted it into the description and I can add more information. And then we can just add the keywords once again. So I'm not going to go through that because we've already typed those but here you can use commas or semicolons to punctuate each individual word so once all of this tab is filled in the only one that you really need to go to 
is the IPTC. So if we click on there, and here you can add as much or as little information as you would like. But like before in Lightroom, I think it is quite important to put your phone number, email address, and website, because these allow people to contact you if they would like to use your image in some way. So there's no excuse for someone using your image without permission and saying that they were unable to contact you to obtain that permission because you know that you've put all of those pieces of information into the EXIF data so that people can contact you. So once you've finished with that, you just hit OK, save the image, and then all of that EXIF data is updated. Now, one thing that you can do is to record a Photoshop action where you add all of the basic information that's applied to each image. And then of course there will be information that's added that's specific to different images. But by creating an action that adds in all of that basic information like your contact details, maybe some generic keywords like your name, and that will just save time and make things much quicker.